uh, there might be uh, some uh, some interaction. What do you do? Did you just hit him? Dude, you just hit that guy. What the? Man. It's so not cool. So not cool. So not cool. Hey, uh, guys. Simon Desk, mark the, uh, mark the tape. He just collided with somebody just a few moments ago. Just collided with somebody. And that vehicle is pursuing him. Oh. Mr. Tire, he's not, he's not, he's not happy. Mr. Tire's like, man, I'm going to pitch you. Yeah, he's probably on the phone with 911 saying, I'm following this guy. Here we go. Here comes the interaction. Uh oh, he's not happy. He's like, what, what, what are you saying to me, man? Yeah, it looks like he's exiting. It looks like he's exiting. This guy has no, no morals. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he went on the brakes. He knows he knows who this guy is. And uh, he, look at that. He went to go, and then you know the radio call was, yeah, I got that suspect, blah, blah, blah. And then there's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to stay with him. What are you doing? Dude, he does not like Mr. Tire. Yeah, Mr. Tire's like, you ain't getting away from me. Yeah, come on, Mr. Tire. Now it's personal. Oh. Yeah, but where's the PD? They got to be like right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, Mr. Tire's going to pit him. Mr. Tire's going to pit him. Mr. Tire not happy about this. And uh, just, uh, you know, just kind of putting it out there, public service announcement, announcement uh, law enforcement does not appreciate it when uh, you as a the citizen get involved in uh, activities like this. So don't do this uh, on your own. Very dangerous. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where's Mr. Tire? Mr. Tire right there. Where's PD, though? What are they going to, it's like how, now I'm really kind of wondering if they know what's going on. Because why, why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they be saying, you know, re-engage the pursuit or try to stop Mr. Tire? Getting off the freeway again. Or not. You know what? I'm going to go get tires at Mr. Tire. Next time I need tires, I'm definitely, whoa, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Next time I need tires, I'm going to go to Mr. Tire. Where's the PD? Why are they way back? Oh! <clears throat> Yeah, somebody else is following him, too. <coughs> this guy clearly not making any friends today. Oh. I heard the I heard the mic open. What's up?
and a stop sign. Copy all. YouTube as well. So, guys and gals, if you're just joining us, this has been going on for more than a minute or so. And uh, it had – I, I don't know where you guys can go back and watch it. You watch it on Fox because we had some fantastic shots. I know that for a fact. Dylan at the tiller today. But uh, this vehicle right here stolen and actually kind of got involved in a, kind of some more than one hit-and-run type of situations on the 101 freeway involving a Mr. Tire truck. And Mr. Tire, definitely going to be clearly my choice for the next time I need uh, any kind of tires at all for my vehicle. As that driver continually tried to stop this vehicle after that vehicle that you see, the stolen vehicle, collided with him maybe on purpose to create some sort of distraction for law enforcement that has been following this uh, stolen vehicle. That didn't work, and it kind of just pissed off the driver of the Mr. Tire truck, and it kind of got it got a... Got a little push and shove going on there, but eventually the uh, driver from the Lowe's truck got off the freeway. You see it right here. We're in a residential neighborhood, this Thousand Oaks area. Uh, as far as it, it's a dead end if he goes straight. Well, you know what's weird? It's like then he's got to have some sort of information. That black pickup truck, I think, actually is has been following uh, that uh, Lowe's car. Let's see if he makes that turn as well. I don't want to lose him. Nope, he went straight. So definitely does not know. And as far as law enforcement, they just let it go. Now, it, this is one of those interesting ones because clearly there was some shenanigans going on between this driver and other people on the roadway. Um, and uh, law enforcement deciding that we're just going to stay at an arm's distance and let this play out on its own. I would venture to say there's some sort of tracking device on that vehicle because the, how this thing got started in the beginning uh, was a little unusual in its own right. Um, we got to keep an eye on it. We're going to keep uh, keep keep moving along out here. Um, but as it stands right now, this vehicle not actually being pursued. Uh, that's the oddest thing uh, that I can say out loud is uh, <laughs> and on and on the YouTube's is uh, this is this vehicle just. Uh, making its way through the uh, Thousand Oaks area right now. We've seen some very reckless maneuvers. We've seen this, uh, it, it actually make contact with a bunch of other vehicles. Uh, I don't think that's the black uh, the black pickup truck from earlier. I think that's some, somebody else. But it seems like anybody that gets in this guy's way will, it, it, you know, he has no qualms in uh, pushing them out of the way to continue on on the roadway. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on it for sure, but you can see this vehicle uh, getting close to some other cars. He's played that game before. I don't know if he's making his way back over to the 101 or not, but this started in the uh, Los Angeles area, started near uh, Santa Monica, got onto the uh, Pacific Coast Highway. I'm just recapping for folks that may not have seen what had happened. Uh, that's the reason why I believe there was some sort of tracking device on here because the helicopter picked it up. The helicopter guided some black and whites into the location where it was near Sunset and Pacific Coast Highway. And that's when this guy saw or heard the sirens. And he was like, nope, not having anything to do with that. Got into the oncoming traffic, started, didn't physically push anybody out of the way, but basically kind of got in the way of a lot of folks that were driving out there. They gladly, happily moved out of the, the, that truck's way and the pursuit was on. It was an actual pursuit, pursuit for quite some time. The uh, LAPD helicopter stayed with it and made our way through the Malibu area. Uh, but then somewhere along the line, they were like, you know what? We, we got a tracking device on this. Uh, he's slowed down. He's been less aggressive in his driving. We're just going to let it go. We're just going to let this thing go. We're going we're gonna to choose to uh, be safe and just kind of back off. That driver... He continues to not be safe. Uh, that one maybe was a red light, but uh, at least he waited till the intersection was clear. It would be really funny if he drove to a, a PD station, but it does make, look like he's making his way back over to the freeway, which, again, makes me think that he has a destination because it seems like he got on the 101 with an intention of uh, fly, or flying, driving back towards the uh, Van Nuys area out of the Ventura area. Um California Highway Patrol, well, 
That's all I got right now. I was really thinking they were going to get involved. They were going to try to bring this thing to an end. We've seen it in the past. They've been very aggressive, especially the Ventura the, the division or, uh, uh, yeah, division district. I wonder what, what are they called? What is that called? Anyway, again, I can't know. I don't know. Even if you guys are trying to type it in for me, I won't be able to know. I've got a spam phone call on my phone right now, but that's not helping me either. I uh, want to get on here and see if anybody's got some text for me. Yep, some of my friends are uh, giving, giving shout-outs to Mr. Tire for sure. Definitely the, where I'm going to get my tires. Any, at any rate, the uh, truck continues on. Now we're back on the, on the northbound 101 freeway. So we're going back towards uh, the uh, division. Division. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody got on a radio. Wasn't one of the voices in my head. I know all their their, their voices. Uh, yeah, the division, the uh, Ventura division of the California Highway Patrol. They uh, they have been aggressive in the past to bring things to an end, but perhaps because of the uh, the weather, that might be one of the reasons why they're venturing to stay a little bit less involved in this one. And also the fact that, you know, besides the crime of theft, you know, and well, yeah, now it's theft and hit and run multiple hit and runs at that so at any rate somebody with a uh with a law degree and a paycheck much higher than mine making those decision calls telling uh, law enforcement on the ground not to get involved in this as we make our way into the newberry park area you can see it right there lynn road makes me think of my buddy tim at any rate we're continuing on he's kind of blending in with the traffic wet roads that's for sure uh high speeds definitely too high for that truck where is it going to go? What's going to happen to it? Hopefully, we're going to be able to follow it and find out. I think uh, my pilot, Dylan, probably happy we made that turn going back into the uh, Camarillo area. Not because he wants to go check out the outlet mall, but probably because he's thinking we're going to need jet fuel pretty soon. And, uh, and I'm there with him. I'm all about following this thing to the end, but I don't want to be on the ground next to him when it does, even though it might be kind of nifty, but I think it's going to be too much paperwork for uh, Dylan to deal with. And uh, again, is it worth it? It's what I always ask myself when we follow these chases. What are they doing? Is it worth it? you got to kind of wonder. But at any rate, continuing on, we got the speeds up. Those are pretty accurate. Definitely climbing up as we're making our way up towards the Caneo grade again. He wasn't able to uh, drive that truck very well going up the other side. I wonder if he's going to start burning that clutch once again. Uh, as, and as far as the picture goes and the quality of the picture, kids, it's raining out here. And uh, I also have to say that the, uh, the lens itself, they actually have a coating on it, and that coating has been damaged. Uh, it's a long story. I know we have plenty of time. But uh, so it's going to make it a little difficult to see. Uh, I am as frustrated as you. What's up, Dylan? So Oxnard and Camarillo are, yeah, we're going to have to go east. Let's just, you know what, Dylan, I'm going to actually really, truly leave it up to you. There's a song like that. But, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll see what we can do. But I have a feeling, kids, you're going to have to try to find out how this comes to an end in a, in a different form or fashion because we're, w there's only so far we can go. And uh, they're actually calling IFR over at Camarillo and Oxnard. That's the direction we're han heading. If somebody's going to be like, Stu, what does IFR mean? Well, IFR means instrument flight uh, rate rules, and uh, it, it's one of those ones, you're not going to see it. There's so much clouds out there, There's so, uh, it, you won't be able to see it anyway. So we're going to go as far as we can go safely. Uh, Dylan is also considering the fact that we're going to need fuel. I'm sure we were kind of thinking, well, maybe we'll get fuel in Camarillo, but that is kind of going out the window. So we'll go as far as we can, then we're gonna turn around and I'm gonna lick my wounds and cry myself uh, to sleep. Ends, because eventually we're gonna be in a situation where we cannot follow it because of the rain. This might be the opportunity for law enforcement. They might be going, you know what? They're, they're wringing, their, they're wringing their, their hands together, doing the ha ha ha. They don't have a helicopter anymore. We're going to take it over and bring this to an end. Ha, 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 ha. There you go again. Look at that. This guy does not know how to drive this truck. The speeds are really slowing down as you're making your way up the hill. 
Um, and you know, it's it's not a criticism. I'm just pointing out facts, guys. You know what? I'm I'm not I'm not saying he's a bad driver. I'm not saying you know anything. I'm just pointing out facts. Okay. All right. All right. We're not. I'm not. I'm not trying to belittle his his driving. Maybe I am a little bit. But anyway. Um, it's going to be coming to an end here probably shortly. Dylan's going to make some judgment calls. I'm just in, in the back seat. Wherever he takes us, I'm going to go. And I'll call out this pursuit as long as we can. But you can see it right there climbing up that hill. Almost at the top. There it is. We're at the top. We saw it last time. He basically was topping out about 40 miles an hour. We made it to the top of the hill. And then when, that, when the gravity kicked in, Oh, so did that lead foot as well. There you go. You can see those speeds starting to climb once again. How far is he going to go? How fast is he going to go? Well, we're going to see together and uh, watch this uh, vehicle make his way southbound here. Um, actually, we're going northbound. We're going northbound. We're going northbound, Stu. Downhill isn't south. Once again, I point out the fact that I'm a cameraman, not a uh, pilot. All right. So you can't, I'm being serious, so you can't make your way into Camarillo, right? Oh, yeah, we might get stuck there. Yeah, yeah. And I think we are down to one ship, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, you can't hear the other side of the conversation, but my pilot, Dylan, who's an amazing pilot, he's definitely, they're, they're, all, they're all great pilots, but uh, Dylan... Uh, Definitely, he wants to see this thing come to an end as much as, as probably as much as you guys do. Uh, but uh, in this case right now, we're just going to kind of hang out. We're going to watch him until we cannot watch him anymore. And he's going to drive off into the rainy, the rainy afternoon out here in Camarillo. And, uh, and I have a feeling he's probably not going to run out of fuel or get into an accident. He's, we're just going to watch him drive off into the, into the haze and the mist. And like I said, I'm going to be sad. But uh, the others are, yeah, okay. So we're going to keep an eye on it as long as we can. And, uh, guys, I, I don't know. I, I wish I did know. I, I would hope that, uh, whoops, sorry, I'm looking at my phone. I would hope that, uh, I would hope that uh, we do have some kind of closure. Like they found the truck and it was empty or they found the truck in the, you know, the delivery of the washer and dryer were still in the back. And we could get an interview with those guys, that family, you know. How do you feel that your washer and dryer was on this pursuit that we chased through Ventura County all afternoon? Anyways, well, truly, truly, I know we can probably get a hold of Mr. Tire. I'm sure our assignment desk has probably been on the phone with them for quite some time. And uh, I, I can almost assure you that uh, I, I, you think I'm joking, but the next time I need tires, I'm going there. I feel Sky Fox making that turn. You might not see it in the camera, but we are actually flying the other way, making our way back to Van Nuys. <coughs> making my way back to you, baby. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm not supposed to sing. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, and uh, that wasn't a song. I wasn't singing. Clearly, that could be the argument in a court of law. Anyways... There you go, Lowe's, they supply the pros and clearly the cons as well. That's a, that's a dad joke. Bye, you guys. I wish I, could, uh, I wish I could join you in a conversation, could talk about this, could buy me a hot 